This is a panel that I made from Solar Cells from SolarCells101.com. This is a glass, and I'm getting ready to do a new series, and I'm going to show how to make solar panels the way I do it. Anyway, first you need to get a, a piece of glass, and then you need to decide what size cells you need to get that will fit your glass and uh, I like solarcells101.com because I can get just about any size that I need from them and uh, they even cut these to fit for me these are three by fours and uh, I made this aluminum frame myself all it is is inch and a half angle aluminum that I bought at Lowe's. You can get it at Home Depot or wherever you want to, your lumber yard. But uh, you just cut a 45 on the angle and I put some metal brackets in the corners. They're L brackets and I used self-locking nuts. Next, I'm going to be showing how to put tabbing wire on solar cells. So, you need to put 36 cells in your panel. And if at 0.5 volts each, that makes about 18 volts. You have to have 18 volts to bring your batteries up because if you're Trying to bring up a 12 volt battery, you need more voltage than 12 volts. And it also depends on how long a run you're going to make from your panels to your batteries. But, it, you know, if it's only you know, about 20 feet or so, 18 volts should be just fine. Or maybe even 50 feet. But um, they start getting around 100 feet, you may want to make it 20 volts. If you have enough room, you could make it 20 volts. Maybe you want to make 20 volt panels. That may take a couple extra cells. But I just make mine with 36. It's that way I have plenty of cells, and I don't have that long a run. But anyway, next part I'm going to show how to solder tabbing wire on your cells. Thanks for watching. This is in part one.